know some acquisition news to share. Uh, it's a private company, but uh, doing the buying is Google, which we always like to uh, point out. $2.6 billion all-cash transaction for a company named Looker, what they describe as a unified platform for business intelligence, data applications, and embedded analytics. It's going to be uh, part of Google Cloud, of course, if you recall, Google in that fight with Microsoft and Azure, and of course, the big giant of them all, Amazon's AWS, in terms of trying to uh, 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 get organizations to uh, use it and the various analytics that go along with the platform that you are offering uh, are important and so this would seem to be something that will help them uh, market their cloud services. They say data remains an untapped resource for many organizations and the addition of Looker will provide customers with a more comprehensive analytic solution from ingesting and integrating data to gain insights to embedded analytics and visualization, Sarah, as well. You're going to be able to do that. So you can visualize things, not just right. read about them. Maybe that's why it's called Looker. Uh, I would just note that the timing is, is sort of interesting. You know, Google and Facebook have had tough weeks. Market's up 2.7% this week. Alphabet is down 5.5% still after it got battered on those antitrust investigations becoming public. While analysts we've talked to that cover the stock say, look, it's a buying opportunity. It's going to be hard to prove anything on antitrust. There's clearly some worry on these names, and it could be a political overhang. So just sort of interesting that they're making the acquisition in the middle of all this. You wonder sort of what the impact internally is going to be on company focus and getting no, larger. There are those who say that the DOJ should have given a more critical eye to what were very small acquisitions over time, particularly they point, of course, to YouTube, which at the time was a $1.6 billion deal, if I remember, something along those lines but it's now grown into a giant that, uh, again, extends into so many parts of, of, of Americans, of people's lives all over the planet, uh, and is part of any sort of review that would be done by the antitrust authorities. What's interesting is the number of deals that we thought might happen that are not happening. Uh, DB Commerce Bank for one, uh, Fiat pulling Renault, as we now know, uh, Mondelez, uh, not buying some Campbell's. Obviously, these are of varying sizes, but... And for varying reasons. Yep. I mean, the French government's not opposition, but certainly putting up some, uh, well, depends of Fiat Chrysler, uh, Chrysler saying they changed their demands and that they wanted Nissan, obviously, to, uh, to assent to the deal. And that didn't happen. And so Fiat Chrysler uh, pulling away.